Hello everyone, my name is Deng Wu. I'm a third year PhD student from X Discovery Lab at Dalabas College. Today, I'm going to talk about capacitivo, content-based object recognition on interactive fabric using capacitive sensing. This work was done in collaboration with two undergrad interns, Lu and Yu Ji, as well as my advisor, Teddy and Xin Dong. Before going into detail of this work, I want to briefly show you what Capacitivo is and what it can be used for. Capacitivo is a capacitive sensing technique that makes fabric aware of the object it's in contact with. This includes things like food items and dinnerware. It can also detect the change of what's inside objects like containers or cups. For example, it can differentiate between milk, coke, apple cider, cold and hot water in a regular glass cup. And as many everyday objects around us are made or covered by the fabric, there are numbers of applications that are enabled by our sensing technique, such as turning a coaster into a delta tracker with our smart textile, or a smart table cross for recipe helper. Next step, add a slice of cheese. Although there are a number of techniques to enable interactive fabric, the one most related to capacitivo is testivo by Jun Gong et al. Testivo demonstrates an interactive fabric to recognize metallic object based on inductance. In contrast, our work focuses on non-metallic objects that are also very common in daily life. Our work complements existing research with a new sensing technique that is based on capacitors. Next, I will explain how the sensing works for capacitivo. When an object is placed on a textile sensor that is made of conductive electrodes, the capacitors among the electrodes will change due to the permittivity of the object, and the different material of the object will bring out different permittivity, resulting in different capacitors. Thus, Capacitivo recognizes objects by measuring different change in capacitance. Next, I want to talk about our DIY approach for fabrication. First, we're using an unarm adhesive to bond the conductive fabric to a textile substrate. Then, we use a textile cutting machine to cut out the electrode and the raw connection. After cutting, we're reheating again, and then, purely unnecessary pieces of so the pattern is clear. Next, we need to connect the coloring electrodes. To connect the coloring electrode, we're using a sewing machine or hand stitch to connect the conductive strand for each color. Then, we attach the conductive fabric to the button as a ground plane. The sensor is completed. To validate the sensor accuracy and the robustness, we ran a 10 participant in the study. We tested 20 everyday objects, including kiwi, avocado, Grab food, credit card, and so on. Each object was repeated for 10 times in a randomized order. We pre-trained a model three days before the study, and we ran the real-time recognition in the study. In turn, our system can achieve overall accuracy of 94%. This is the encouraging results, especially for the item which have a similar strap but have a different content or material, such as kiwi and avocado. In addition, we also evaluate how well the system can recognize different types of liquids. For this evaluation, we recruit a volunteer and ask her to test six types of liquids, including cold water, hot water, coke, apple cider, milk, and beer. Each drink has a 20 sample for training and a 20 sample for testing. The results show the overall accuracy of 90%. The worst case, which was beer, if we remove resulting in a higher accuracy of up to 96%. With that, I would like to conclude our work with three technical messages. First, we present a non-metallic object recognition technique on interactive fabric using capacitive sensing. We measure the accuracy of our technique with several experiments. We demonstrate unique application enabled by our sensing technique. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I'm happy to take any question now.